Welcome to Society Road Podcast. Got the host, Nick Walker. Also, Claire Sunby. So, nice to meet you, Maria. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, all right. I'm a photographer based in New York City. Okay. I shoot uh, fashion, beauty, anything to do with people. It's pretty much my jam. Uh, and I'm uh, thrilled to be with you guys today. Yeah, dope, dope. Nice to meet you. So what, what type of photography do you specialize in? Um, like I said, beauty, fashion. Um, I shoot people. I'm definitely not a still life shooter. Um, yes. And I like to do, you know, I mean, I, I love getting in there and uh, getting up close with my talents. How did you get started in this? I went to Italy uh, when I was. Um, I went to Italy on a volunteering pro- program, and uh, I had my camera with me, <laughs> and um, I shot. So I shot more than I expected, and I enjoyed it more than I expected. So I was like, "Well, I should become a photographer." <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. So you kind of just, it kind of just fell into your lap. It, it all does. I mean, it, you know, like I, uh, I got my camera before that, um, but I never think about do. I never thought about doing it professionally before that. So I, I was still, you know, having fun. So how long have you been doing it now, professionally? Almost ten years. Oh wow, that's incredible. So as far as um, photography. What did you do before? You you said you didn't think about doing it like professionally. What what did you think you would be doing professionally? Oh well, uh, I um, I graduated school. I got my degree in linguistics and intercultural communication, uh, which is a fancy title for studying English and German. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, I was. I thought I, would, I was going to be an interpreter for a second, and then um, I did a couple office jobs that wasn't working for me. Mm. So I was. I was. Um, I I knew I had to change something, so I started working at it. Good, good. Wow. So, so did you have like as far as photography? Did you have any formal training? Um, I have I have an associate in photography. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that that's about it. And then I've been assistant for as long as I've been in New York City. So I worked with a lot of people in the fashion commercial world. Hmm. Um, which is, let's say, a little more valuable than school. <laughs> yeah. Right. That would make sense. So what, kind of shifting gears a little bit here, when you're specifically on a shoot, what inspires you the most? Or like sparks your creativity the most? Oh, I love working with color. I mean, uh, I definitely love anything color related. And uh, that alone is great. I, I love nature. I love, Movies, art, um, it's a lot of things. Uh, basically, I try to pull together a mood board before my shoots, and um, oh, oh, okay. Once I start pulling references, it kind of crystallizes a little more. So I was like, ah, oh, this is what I'm showing. Okay, and then you get on set, and you're like, oh no, this is what I'm showing. <laughs> right. Do you have a, a favorite shoot that you've done so far? Um, well, that's hard. It's like babies. <laughs> um, I'd say uh, I uh, there is an editorial I did uh, in a magazine called Deconic Artist, uh, like um, they are based in Europe, uh, and it's basically like this beauty fashion editorial, so like pink comes. Um, and a lot of cactuses and flowers. I don't know, it's hard to describe. 
but it's it's fun. I um and I kind of like get off of my team's personalities. I'm I'm big on a good team, good models, beauty, and kind of working together. So I think like collaboration will be a huge part of um, a creative process for me. Yeah. So, so when it comes to the infrastructure of different photographers or whatever or creators that you work with, um, do you have like a like a solid foundation of people that you can reach out to and say, hey, I I want this to come together and I want I want to create this and we can put this together. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As far as like do you have an infrastructure of people that you can collab with and say, hey, I want to make this happen? You do have people at Oh, of course. Uh, I work with, there's a few like makeup artists that I treasure. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but it, it, it kind of depends. Everybody has their specialties, right? So like I'm doing like a clean beauty shirt versus like something super creative, but I'm probably going to reach out to different people for it. It it all kind of depends. Just just mm-hmm. like just like you would do casting, right? Like you wouldn't cast. Um, I don't know. Like um, you wouldn't <laughs> cast a straight size model in a plus size uh, right. as beauty brand. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it's just like podcasting. You wouldn't put people on a podcast together that didn't have any type of chemistry or whatever. Yeah. Vibes. Yeah, I would not be podcast. So, do you mind talking a little bit about how the year of COVID has affected you and your business? Like, how did you find ways to to stay in the game and stay creative? Mm-hmm. Well, I I think I'm still kind of processing it, honestly. Um, uh, it's been crazy. Um. Uh, I I mean, luckily, uh, you know, like I'm all right. My family is all right. So, like, uh, I think, like, personally, uh, while it's been crazy year, it was sort of all right and slowing down really. Um, I think helped me focus and kind of like redirect on what I want to be doing. Uh, and kind of like focus more on uh, the work I'm trying to produce and like the brands I'm trying to work with. Uh, so it's been a lot of kind of like contemplation and reshuffling for me. Not a lot of work, but uh, uh, like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it was tough on everybody in and, and whatever way that it could be tough on everybody you know so yeah it found a way to hurt everyone somewhere yeah yeah for sure for sure so when it comes to equipment that you that you use as far as with photography what what is your go-to camera and if you could kind of explain it dumb it down to us in terms that, <laughs> that we can understand <laughs> oh <laughs> i don't know um it's uh, it's tools, you know. It's just like uh, just the same as a team, a creative team, right? Everybody, everything has its tool. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I love medium format cameras. <laughs> like what <laughs> brand? Hands on that. Um, I have uh, I have a Canon R for like, uh, I'd say like. If I'm doing uh, anything to do with video uh, or like video and still, that's pretty handy. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, equipment is secondary, I think. I, I don't think it matters that much. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting take. Because, you know, I mean, like, you can you can take pictures with your iPhone. Like, every, like, Everybody has an iPhone. It's what it's what you see. It's not what it's not the magnetics of your camera, but you know, make right. it. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not really tech geek. Mm. Interesting. So 
do you use Instagram as a major tool to to market your photography? Complicated. <laughs> uh, I I I have Instagram. I have websites. I try not to go too crazy on Instagram where I start hating myself in the world. Oh, uh, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> But I try to post something there now and then. Um, I I uh, I use Instagram, but it's not my focus. I, I I try to focus on producing good work, and then you know, like if it gets posted, it gets posted. So you know, looking forward, looking towards the future. Where where do you see yourself in five years? Or where where are what are you doing? What would you be doing to be like, okay, I finally made it in photography as far as like, what was, what's the ultimate goal that you want to reach? Oh, I don't see myself in five years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I hate to ask that. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, scratch the five years part. What's your ultimate goal as a photographer? Um, I want to keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and you know support myself <laughs> right 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 just to, just um, to i i mean uh it's so superficial it's all you know like i mean i can say i want to be like i feel like i want to shoot the campaign for i don't know nike but uh once you shoot the campaign for nike there's so much more that you can do so like is that an ultimate mm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, it's kind of like you you feel like it's like a it's always another goal, huh? It's always the next step you have to get yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh you like I I want to be better than I was yesterday. Like that's that's if if we can talk about goals, yeah, like I want to I want to like keep improving. Are there any like specific artistic ideas you have that you really want to see happen this year? Mm, in the industry in general, or well, like for myself, for you, like any projects that you're really excited about or have an idea about starting? I I always have a lot of ideas. <laughs> um, I um, but 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 it's a little hard to describe because. <laughs> I like I can show you mood boards. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're a mood board person. I get that. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. It's a little hard. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's it's hard for you to describe it, but you can just picture it in your mind. Yeah. I I can I can pull some pictures together and uh show say this is what I want to do. And I don't want to say anything more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Do you do do you think that that photography is your ultimate passion out of everything in the world as far as like yeah, all the fun all the things you like to do photography is it for you I don't know that's deep <laughs> <laughs> you know I think like we are kind of multifaceted of creatures yeah um so you know I don't I don't know I mean I I like photography I like um i like doing videos um you know, maybe maybe i'll make something maybe i'll direct a movie or something like that at some point um yeah i think i think like with the sorry like the uh the question was about do oh. i see myself as a photographer for the rest of my life no, 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 no. The question was, is it your passion, like your ultimate passion? Yeah, it's my passion. Yeah. Definitely. Like if you like like if you had to choose anything in the world, you would choose photography. To do uh, like a utopian society with like, <laughs> <laughs> with Honestly, like I would I would go travel in the world and take my camera with me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Do you have like a life motto that you cling to at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. No, I don't. Yeah. I, the world is bad, right? <laughs> yeah. Just take it day by day. 
<laughs> hey, I feel that. I feel like I should do the same. Just take it day by day and not worry about the next. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I think so. I think, yeah, you know, like if we, if we live in the future, we're going to miss a lot that's happening now. That's your motto. Yeah, I definitely really appreciate your perspective because I think in this industry, there's a lot of competitiveness and a lot of like, oh, I got to get to the next level. And it sounds like a lot of people kind of miss the the joy and being present in the moment. So it's really refreshing to hear your perspective about how multifaceted you are and just enjoying what you're doing for the sake of doing it. I think, well, I'm, I'm definitely not a hustler. I definitely <laughs> don't have a hustle mentality there. Uh, and I like, it's, it's a very, I mean, an American thing to me. Um, it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I want to, you know, like I want to do what I love. I want to, you know, go out with friends, enjoy life, see some good, so uh, see some good art and, uh, you know, make some, make some, make, make some cool stuff. Fair. I love that for you. I want that for you. I want that for all of us. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely fair. So. Oh, it is time to move on to our game portion. You want to okay. describe it, Claire? I'll let you describe yep. it. So, Maria, get ready. This is um, a Nick Walker original game that we're going to play. Um, it's called Categories. And basically, like, so we'll have a topic and the topic will be creatives, which is broad. So you can, like, name a singer or a photographer or a model, an actor, anything that falls under the umbrella of a creative, that's the topic. So I will start and I would say like Shakira, she's a singer. And then Nick would go next and he would have to say someone that starts with the last letter of what I said. So since I said Shakira, he would have to start with name any creative that started with an A. And then whatever he said, you'd go starting with the last letter. Does that make sense at all? I feel like I didn't make yeah, sense. Okay. <laughs> I was confused right. saying it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to pick M for Maria for your name. So I will go with Martin Short. Martin Short. Ends with a T. So I'm a Choose Terrence Howard. He's an actor. Awesome. <laughs> Ends with a D. Oh, I got a D. All right. Uh, Delhi. Some other Delhi. Oh, wait. What does that end with? Uh, I. Oh, okay. I. <laughs> I mean, Iggy Azalea is the only person I can think of. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ends with an A. I'm gonna say uh, A Marie ends with an E. Who's that? A, a Marie's a singer. She's a uh, she. Yeah, she's from New York. She's a singer. I haven't heard of her either. Yeah, uh, yeah. She don't come out as often, but she's like early 2000s. <sighs> Nick's got all the cool music recommendations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got some E. Yep. And M. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, classic. Okay. I'm an M. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at this and I have the most practice too because we do this every, every time. <laughs> it makes the most <laughs> <laughs> Melissa McCarthy ends in a Y. Okay. Ends with a Y. Mm. Oh, hi. Nice. Uh... Let's see, uh, Yaris ends with an S. Okay. All right. Well, let's see, Shakira. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> okay. A, A, A. I don't know why I can still only think of Amelia Earhart. 
<laughs> is that Amelia? Let's let's. I mean, she was pretty crazy. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with Amelia Earhart. <laughs> she <laughs> the ends with a T. I'm gonna say uh uh I don't know uh T Streets ends with <laughs> ends with a Z. He's a rap artist. He's he's not known that well. <laughs> At this point, you could just be making stuff up, and I would just. No, I don't. I don't. No, <laughs> it's not very effective. <laughs> I don't make this stuff up. You put me in a bind with a T. Yeah, fair. Oh, so Z. Yeah. Z. Good luck, Azaja Gabor. <laughs> okay. 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 Please, that, please that, I, yeah, yeah. You pulled that one out. That's. Wait, what did that end with? There's so many letters in that. It's uh, an R. An R. Mm, Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Okay. Ends with a D. I'm going to say DMX. Okay. Oh my gosh, an X? Yeah. I know. He's That's evil. Like, he's good. He's good. Uh, um, uh, Okay, I, I don't know how to pronounce Spanish names. Uh, Javier Bardem? It, I think it starts with an X. No. No. It might. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. It's a, it's a <laughs> J, actually, but it's, I just read it as an H. Um, let me think of something else. Um, hmm, that's X. hard. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard, but I, I know one. I know one, but <laughs> I'm sure you know. <laughs> There's gotta be like some famous person that has the first name Xavier. Yeah, somebody. Professor. Um, well, I was gonna say Xavier the professor. I mean, I mean, I mean like in Marvel Universe yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that was, I was gonna say the professor. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. But I, I don't know anything about that letter. I um, I was gonna say escape. They begin with an X. So oh. it's, a, it's a 90s singing group. So it's a hard one though. Yeah, it is. I I didn't mean to do that to you. That was just the first person I thought of with a D. Like Walker's a theater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, uh so and what does it end with? E. E. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, so it's my turn? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I swear, like, I don't understand my brain. You said E, and then my brain immediately was like, estrogen, estrogen. But that's not, that's <laughs> not a human. <laughs> and my brain went, estrogen, Easter bunny. And I can't think of anything else that starts with an E. That's an interesting. That, that could be for the shit. I'm gonna. <laughs> am I giving you ideas? Yeah. I'm gonna argue that the Easter Bunny is a creative. Okay. <laughs> I mean, those you eggs, made your heart those out. eggs are always very pastel colored. Um. Yeah. Yep. That's my answer. I'm sticking by it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've been in Rosia. Yeah. Okay, you said the Easter Bunny, so I'm guessing it ends with a Y. Yes, uh, it does. That's, I'm going to say Yankee Doodle. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, Maria, this is the last one, so you have to make it a real banger. I got an E. Um, let's see. Eva Longoria. I don't oh. know this today. Okay. Oh. Classic. Okay. So uh-huh. yeah, it was definitely nice meeting you, Maria. Yeah. Could you um if if you don't mind, could you tell us um your I know you don't use it much, but like your Instagram handle or or your uh, website where we could find find your work at? Mm-hmm. Uh so I'm on Instagram, uh Maria P Photo, uh double P. So P H O T O. Um and then Obviously, my website, mariafanina.com, Society Row, uh, all the good stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you oh. so much. Oh, so nice meeting you guys. Yeah, yeah so nice to meet you too. It's good talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> almost in person, right? <laughs> it almost feels normal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, bye. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for the podcast. Thank you. Bye. Bye.